So let me take you back to that operation and describe exactly what we did, what we needed to do. If you recall from the first conference where I mentioned the Congresswoman's initial injuries, I did mention she had bilateral orbital roof fractures. That's basically fractures in the roof of the eye socket. Fortunately, on the left, that fracture does not look as though it will need any kind of repair. On the right, however, the bone fragments from that fracture were pushing down enough on the eye and, its, and the contents of the eye socket that Dr. Polonsky actually, that initial day, needed to perform a, a very quick releasing incision and operation. But we did not want to do the full repair at that time. The patient, as you know, was very, very... Uh, in very, very critical condition at that time, and we did not want to take a chance to further exacerbate brain swelling and other factors that could have been adversely uh, affecting her. So we put that off until at such a time we felt she was through that critical period, and at about the week mark is when we felt that would be right. We did want to get to that fracture and repair it within a reasonable amount of time, within the first few weeks, to prevent complications down the road from the pressure on that eye socket. The procedure itself did require a craniotomy, that's opening a window in the skull. It did require that we remove some of the rim of that eye socket so we could work back in that space, remove those bone fragments and take the pressure off. And then again, working with Dr. Polonsky, we actually reconstructed that roof with a metal mesh and then were able to close up. We did do, do this all through an incision just above the eyebrow so we would not have to re-expose and risk the left side of the brain um, and we wanted to minimize that as much as possible. And I'm happy to say that within a few hours of the surgery, she was waking up, and through the weekend, she came back to the same baseline she had been before the surgery, that same le level of interaction she's been having with us. And that's all very good. And at this time, we're hoping to continue tying up those loose ends and get her ready for that third phase of her care, the rehabilitation.